salam sejahtera. Uh, Alhamdulillah saya syukur kepada Allah Subhanahu Taala dapat uh, kembali ke parlimen mewakili Port Dickson dan menyuarakan pandangan uh, masyarakat rakyat untuk kebaikan negara. Tugas saya seperti mana juga di dukung oleh speaker ialah untuk bersama-sama dengan uh, ahli parlimen yang senior terutamanya seperti Surah Lim Kit Siang untuk uh, menjana beberapa perubahan selari dengan uh, gesaan uh, yang dibuat dan diperaku dalam manifesto Pakatan Harapan. Uh, kita akan uh, men, uh, mengusulkan pembentukan beberapa select committee untuk uh, meneliti uh, cadangan dan mengemukakan pandangan baru uh, sekiranya perlu uh, berbincang dengan um, uh, pimpinan kerajaan. Dan tugas kita ialah untuk memantapkan perjalanan parlimen uh, menyokong kerajaan sekarang di bawah pimpinan Tun Dr. Mahathir. Tapi saya <coughs> ingin um, mengulangi penyataan, kenyataan penghargaan saya uh, dengan dukungan yang luar biasa hebat dari penduduk uh, dan pengundi uh, Port Dickson uh, dan saya akan insya Allah lakukan uh, sebaiknya ok sekian terima kasih Ya, um, dah saya gembira kerana um, uh, duduk sebelah Kit Siang dah lama dulu dalam persekutuan Ketua Pembangkang pun sebelah dia juga. Uh, Sekurang-kurangnya ada ruang untuk saya bincang kerana saya ingat saya akan uh, menfaatkan pengalaman dia juga untuk uh, menentukan beberapa isu yang patut disegerakan uh, sekiranya persetujui oleh kerajaan dan um, kami akan uh, mengadakan pertemuan segera mungkin dengan uh, Menteri BKDU uh, yang bertanggungjawab dan juga dengan Speaker Parlimen. So what's the biggest uh, challenge uh, for your coming back in the Parliament and what's the main topic you focus in the future? As I said, my priority would be to assist uh, the government by uh, implementing uh, part of our manifesto that is uh, parliamentary reform. Uh, our parliament in the past has been uh, considered or duped as a rubber stamp. Uh, MPs uh, would debate, of course, but generally we just endorse whatever has been decided. But here in Pakatan Harapan uh, Manifesto, we have uh, actually envisaged a new approach uh, to ensure that the parliament is more effective uh, by through the formation of select committees or various other discussions prior to debates, prior to tabling of laws and this of course will have to be discussed with the Minister concerned and also the Speaker but then uh, it will get the full and uh, it has to be uh, fully endorsed by the Cabinet and uh, Prime Minister Tun Mahathir. They have given the green light based on the commitment to the manifesto and I had actually deliberated at uh, some length with Prime Minister Tun Mahathir how to make sure that um, the parliament is deemed to be effective, would serve the constituencies and the people and the nation at large. I'm happy. Alhamdulillah. I mean, I've been I've been deprived of my right from time to time, uh, and I have to go to go through an, uh, a by-election to come back, because uh, as you know, I was um, uh, denied uh, of my right because I was a serving MP. Every time I was then sent to prison, I was uh, I mean dismissed and, and uh, had no avenue uh, to appeal to a just uh, court or uh, uh, to be adjudicated fairly but now at least I feel um, well vindicated in a sense but then I share that, that pride with the people of Port Dickson because 
people have their wisdom. I've always believed and I need to reiterate my conviction that I do trust in the wisdom of the masses. There's a limit how elites, how those um, elites in Kuala Lumpur can think and deliberate or discuss or decide. But finally, you have to trust in the wisdom of the people. Okay? Malaysians are unhappy when the Pakatan Harapan fail to fulfill their manifesto, especially when Tun uh, said that it's impossible to abolish the force. So, do you fight for this manifesto to be achieved? No, we had considered most of these issues, deliberated upon them at great length in the manifesto. I cannot claim to get any credit because I was just uh, assisting uh, in a limited way when I was in prison. But the, uh, the key components of the manifesto were actually decided and taken from the earlier Pakatan Hayat manifesto. Uh, but the stark realities would demand that we do reconsider and take stock of the financial constraints, the economic realities, uh, and the global trading arrangements. And I think Tun Mahathir is right in that regard to say that um, some of these issues need to be um, rehashed or relooked. But the core issues um, decided by the Pakatan Harapan has been honoured to me. What are the core issues? Issue of governance, issue of anti-corruption, no compromise to waste and uh, abuse of power. And that to me a key and fundamental issue that this government must uphold. <coughs> but if you say that uh, the people would fail to support or fail to realise, well it is not truly correct because these problems are also faced by the people of Port Dixon. They understand and they did respond to some of the uh, concerns raised by Prime Minister Mahathir and also members of the cabinet. But finally, when it comes to the crunch, they made the right decision. They do place a lot of trust in the leadership of this government. Yeah. <laughs> As you were saying, budget must be close to the chest of the finance minister hidden in these documents. And, um, but, of course, uh, Lim Guan Ng em empathise with the concerns of the people. That's, to me, the uh, most important. I've had a series of discussions. He uh, appreciates fully the concerns. He appreciates fully the um, difficulties, uh, economic problems, faced by the people, but he has to deal with uh, <coughs> the actual uh, prevalent economic uh, realities, financial constraints. And this is the fortunate or unfortunate position that any finance minister has to deal <coughs> with. Okay? Chateau Street, aside from your first order of the day, which is getting parliamentary reforms on the ground, will you be having any day-to-day -day dealings with no, I've said uh, to Prime Minister Mahathir, I've said that I will only support um, and give my uh, contribution uh, through Parliament and parliamentary reforms. But of course, I will interact with the ministers, I will interact with the MPs, but that's part of the job of a member of Parliament. No, I don't think that's an issue as far as I'm concerned. Um, let him have, and I reiterate, the space, the latitude uh, to continue um, unaffected by these uh, constraints of uh, time or pressure. But that's very important because some of the decisions that has to be made by Prime Minister Tun Mahathir and the Cabinet are very key fundamental uh, decisions. Uh, of policy, of reversing the um, decisions of the previous uh, government, and that would need total unequivocal support by the uh, Pakatan Harapan, and that includes me. Excellency, in the side of investigations regarding one 
anti-corruption cases. Uh, the uh, anti-corruption commission was saying that some of the countries not cooperating like Saudi Arabia and Emirates. Uh, how can you deal with this issue in the process of yeah, I mean, the government will require all the support uh, of most governments. We do uh, understand that uh, some are not as uh, forthcoming, uh, but I think when the accused of uh, abuse or clear corrupt deals or dubious deals, it is only to be expected that governments do give their cooperation. Um, I wouldn't uh, dwell at it at length because we are still trying to explore the possibility of getting all governments concerned to respect uh, the decision of the people or at least honour that principle of good governance that uh, whatever has been squandered from the public must be returned to the rightful uh, either government or the people. And I think uh, this to me very fundamental Islamic principle, fundamental principle of governance. And no country should abdicate that responsibility. It is not a political decision. I would appreciate the countries may choose not to cooperate or collaborate if an action is deemed purely political or political harassment. But in this case, uh, we would adduce evidence, we would uh, submit uh, probably uh, documents to prove that there are compelling case that uh, formal investigations must be conducted and all governments must respect that. Last, last question. Oh, I forgot that. I mean, you know, you remind me, remind me I'm an MP. Well, now that you, now that you are one, are there any ideas or proposals that you feel strongly about and you are going to champion this term? I only believe that um, political leaders or elites must represent the conscience of the majority of their people. Um, I'm always also sometimes cynical with this sort of um, rhetoric or <coughs> debates or discussions by elites that is quite a disconnect or not related to the um, real problems encountered with the people. And I think it is partly my duty to remind the political elite that the success of any government or any budget or any economic policy must uh, be shared by the common people. Um, we have to <coughs> deal with the problem of abject poverty, which we must deal with, notwithstanding whatever economic problems that we encounter. And we cannot um, continue uh, to um, talk about uh, propelling economic growth whilst um, condoning gross inequality between uh, our citizens. Okay, terima kasih banyak. Dan saya hadir di Parlimen dan dalam paket harapan dan saya ulang hampir tiap ucapan di Podikson untuk membantu dengan uh, Tun Mahathir dan saya lihat kesediaan dia untuk bagi kerjasama itu sangat luar biasa uh, dia hadir ke Port Dickson itu pun luar jangkaan kerana memang pada prinsip dia selama ini tidak terlibat dalam mana-mana pilihan raya kecil uh, sebab itu sebaik menang uh, saya dia adalah di antara orang pertama yang saya lapor uh, maklumkan berita baik itu dan tadi pun sebelum mengangkat sumpah saya sempat bersalaman untuk beritahu bagi pengakuan bahawa tugas saya adalah untuk memastikan kerajaan ini stabil, kukuh dan di bawah pimpinan Tun Mahathir. Tidak. Ketua WIP, Ketua WIP Bencher itu kerja lain. Saya hanya di penyokong Ketua WIP dan uh, kerja lebih relax gini kan
Nak jumpa siapa boleh Nak cakap apa pun boleh Kalau Kedudukan yang formal itu Akan memberi beberapa kekangan Terima kasih Wassalamualaikum Mari kata aku saya masa Sun Mahade ya dia tangguh kami dia ada mesyuarat pagi tadi bisa Aziz apa pagi pagi dah ke bilik mesyuarat itu dia tangguhkan awal sedikit untuk membolehkan beliau dan jemaah menteri hadir masa upacara angkat sumpah dan saya tentunya terkesan uh, sampai begitu maknanya tentang semangat uh, persaudaraan kita. Terima kasih. Jangan kurang komen. Saya bukan komen. So, just to clarify, you won't be. There's no talks of you assuming any cabinet ministerial position, yeah? Just the entry. I don't think so. If you do, I can consider. No, no, I, I stand to my, my, with my earlier decision that I don't intend to serve in any position. I, I'm, I'm happy with this position. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh,